Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick update on what we've got going on with the white uh, 2017 precedent. I need to button up a couple things in the dash. We didn't get all the wiring done in the last video, so I'm going to do that real quick. Uh, throw some seats on here, and also some parts came in for the Easy Go, and I'll show you what, uh, what we got in so far, and I've got more coming. So come along for the ride, let's get started. Uh, I did figure out the wiring for the blinkers. Uh, that was a simple fix. Uh, actually had the right and left uh, backwards. So just called the company and the tech said, yep, it's a common problem. People do it all the time. Switch left and right. Sure enough, the blinkers work perfect. So right now I removed the old battery indicator, uh, which would be for our lead acid batteries out. I'm going to use that kind of as my starting point, and I'm going to put the bigger meter in from our Roy Pow unit. So I'm just using my little Dremel tool. I've got it marked out here with a marker and uh, we're going to get that installed right now. Well, I think Ray Charles probably could have done a better job, but the good news is a lot of that will be hidden by the trim, so once it's in there, um, I did slip a little bit. It's a good thing I'm not a surgeon. Put a little nick in the dash, but that won't be noticeable once everything's in. I'll drop a couple screws through there. Then we can button all this up. Uh, back in the dash, we've got our headlight switch. Got lots of wiring and mess to hide there, but that shouldn't be a big deal. we got lots of room to tuck wires up if we need to, so we'll keep... Uh, Keep after this, should be done in no time. All right, got everything buttoned back up. I uh, got my battery indicator in there, and there's a center support screw with a bracket right behind here, and this headlight switch is so big that I had to cut that bracket off so I don't have my center support screw in which I don't think is a big deal it seems to be okay if I had it to do all over again I may have done things differently I was thinking I could just go to club car and get this piece and I would put my headlight switch over here and then I would be able to have this mounted the way it's supposed to be but uh, this piece you can't buy separately I figured it'd be like a 10 or 15 dollar part you gotta buy the whole under dash assembly so not the end of the world. Um, I did get the headlights figured out and they are amber which is really awesome and if you turn the headlights on of course you know there's um, regular lights so when you've got your just like a car when you've got your headlight on or your running lights it flashes amber and then if you turn the headlights on you'll have headlights and an amber Turn that the other way so you can see. There you go. So really, really happy with this kit. Went on really well. Um, super, super sleek design. You can't probably see it, um, but this is a pearl. Yeah, maybe you can a little bit. It's kind of a pearl finish. Uh, there you go. A little sparkle to it. So got the seats. These are also double take seats. Uh, a little bit uh, nicer design than the last ones I used. I think they call them a veranda, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you can see the red stitching in there. It's actually supposed to be ruby, which I guess it kind of is. Oops, oh, what's going on with the camera? There we go. And uh, I put my hip restraints on, got the back. That's super easy to switch those over. I didn't get that on film. I um, guess I'll shut my key off. There we go. And I got to get the floor mat in yet. Uh, I did not put the windshield back on. I did want to do that. I didn't get that done. But, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty happy with this one. Uh, got the Roy Pow in there. I'm thinking of mounting this charger uh, permanently in here. I've seen guys do that. That way it's not getting kicked around on the floor or getting full of dust. Um, it's got mounting brackets for it. So it would be real simple just to put some self-tapping screws in there. 
and then when you want to charge you would run the one cord out to the outlet loop the other one around and plug it in and you'd be good to go that way so I'm still undecided on that the other option would be mounted on the wall and then I could just plug it in when I pull the card in at night so thinking about that too the other thing I realized is, is we never gave this card a name and it used to be black and of course now it's white um, so we got to think about a name for this one uh, UPS was just here and I'll show you uh, some of the things he brought these came earlier via FedEx but this is for the easy go build this is going to be a full uh, replacement floor mat that's going to go the length of the floor and then up into the firewall a little bit so that came in today these are the wheels for the easy go wheels and tires so those came in today and then I'll give you a sneak peek at what's in the back of my pickup so you probably can't see it but there's two big boxes in here not that one there's another huge box and this is what I ordered for the easy go so the ugly green easy go um, I ordered this body kit in this cherry metallic color did not order a lift kit for that I think we talked about that I did order some fancy seats I uh, haven't done anything with a brush guard yet I don't know that I'm going to on that one kinda wanna keep it simple alright well that's gonna about do it for this episode uh, you saw what we've got in the uh, back of the truck I've got more stuff coming tomorrow and the next day I believe so there'll be uh, UPS and FedEx pretty regularly here while we gather all the parts up for the easy go um, thanks for coming along and checking uh, this one out this is the last couple things I wanted to get done on that and uh, in about a week or ten days I'm gonna get started on that easy go project as the parts come in we will uh, inform you on what we've got going on with that and then uh, there'll be more to come here with that one probably 10 days or so. So thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time.